Welcome everyone to Market Mornings. This update is brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com and is for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. My name is Robert Roy. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Keep in mind that everything we look at today will be for educational purposes. Nothing is meant to be advice or recommendations. And if you like what you see, make sure you follow along with the latest and greatest of all the content that we put out there. Uh, not only subscribe here on YouTube, ring the bell, make sure you get notified of all of the updates that we put out there, but go over to tradinglikeaboss.com and make sure you register for some of the free trainings we've got. We've got a great training come up coming up this Friday, uh, which is our Trading Coaches Playbook. Every Monday is a free training called Power Hour. Do not miss out on those. All right, with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the FOMC comes out today. That's the big news, baby. Yeah, ADP. That, yeah, 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 yeah. The FOMC stuff is going to be really important today. Jolts, yeah, jolts is good. 10 o'clock, PMI is okay. ADP is important. But FOMC is really the focus of what's going on right now. Likelihood of 25% basis point increase today was in the high 90s. So we're not expecting anything crazy, no matter how good or bad ADP is. All right, so let's go take a look at the futures and see where we are. The R. So on the ES, we're down seven. On the Dow, we are down 111. The NASDAQ, woohoo, up a dollar. Right? RUD's down two and a half. Bitcoin is still above 23K. Uh, Ethereum's just shy of that 1600. Gold is up 10 cents. Uh, and Earl is up 29 cents. Gold is down 10 cents. Oil is up uh, 30 cents right now to 79 and change. I'd love to see it stay underneath the uh, $80 range for sure. All right, let's go over and take a look at our candidates today. Very first thing we want to look at is the S&P 500. What is it doing? Great run yesterday. Broke the 4071 on a closing basis. First time it's done that in a while, right? It was this last attempt up here, the first real breakout of this downtrend line. So we'll see if it holds, if it maintains. 4101 is our next target. Fed is going to have everything to do with that today. All right, then we've got AMD for them. It was earnings. Coming out, AMD is up $2.39 to 77 half. So that puts us way up there. So we're going to look at a bull put spread below 76. Possibly aggressive just because of how tight it is. Right? Badoo! Woo! BlackRock adds shares, more shares. They're up $10 on that news. Big announcement by BlackRock today. They're up 10 bucks on that news, which puts them at 144 half. So let's see, 36 to 55, 36, 46, 56. That's 19 dollars, guys. We've got a 10 dollar fibbit. So we need to split this level in half. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go add the 882. And we're going to do the black one because the green is only for doing a Fibonacci four step trade. So we've got the 145. See, look where we are. We are right up at that level, folks. You see that? We are right there, right bumping our head on ugly. So we're going to do a bull put spread below 136. All right, next is EA. By the way, if you are unsure about Fibbits, what they are, how they work, go over to Trading Like a Boss. Come over to the left-hand side here. You see Fibonacci, today's power indicator. It's a three-part series. You get one part each day. It's about 20 minutes each day. Uh, gives you a little bit of things to do along the way where you can practice, and you'll learn more about that there, right? And it's, again, it's all free. My goal is to make sure you become a better trader, that you understand this stuff. All right, next is EA. EA, and we're off. EA is down 12, 13. Wow, we're rocking, man. 13, 14 dollars. Now it's down 12 half. Uh, it's earnings for them, so it's not good. Uh, they're now 12 and a half bucks to 116 right now. So we weren't a bullish bias on EA. That's number one. But where are we now? We broke the 128, which is where the support level was, and the eight moving average. We broke the 126, we broke the 124, 22, 119. We've given it all back. We're somewhere way down there. So we're going to look at a bear call spread above 119. Nice. Florida, I mean Foot Locker. <laughs> Foot Locker is up $1.19 today. They got an upgrade by Credit Suisse. All right, let's take a, a little bit of a bigger picture view here. All right, so we're up above that 764. 42 to 47 is five dollars. That's three dollars. We need to split that level in half. Let's go add an 882. It looks like we're going to be redrawing a lot of fibs in the near future because so many of them have violated that 764 and are getting now near that 882 level. Right. So if we do this scrunch instead, so if we're up to 4470, we're right up at resistance, guys. See that? 
So we're going to look at a bull put spread below 42. All righty then. Humana, H-U-M. Uh, they got uh, earnings came out with them today and they are down five bucks, guys. Nope, I'm sorry. Humana is up 223, wrong stock. So 513 right now, $513 stock up two bucks. I'm not that excited about it, but it's still in a bullish territory. So we can look at, and it's at 514 right now. We'll look at a bull put spread below 509. All right, MTCH, they're down. All right, $5 on MTCH. Uh, for them, it's earnings. So they're sitting right now at 49 bucks while wow, losing five bucks on a 55, $54 stock. This is a lot, right? But where does it put us on the chart? I don't care about that, right? About the, a lot. I care about what the chart says. We're down below the $51. Good. Uh, puts us 49. So right about just above the green line, uh, the 21 moving average. So we're going to look at a bear call spread above 51. And we're going to do it aggressive, a little too tight. Uh, actually, no, you know what? 49.51, we're good. Just uh, bear call spread. No aggressiveness necessary. MTCH. Uh, actually, it's WDC, right? Is our next one. WDC. Uh, earnings for them, they are down 72 cents, 75 cents. So it's come up. Uh, I don't look at them unless they're normally down at least a dollar. Or they don't make it to my list. So it's just not enough movement. Which is why you don't see $15 stocks in here normally. Um, so we're at $43.20 right now. So where are we? We're still above our 8 moving average. We're going to say next on this one. I'm just not excited about this. Right? And then Waste Management, WM. Earnings also. They're down $4.33 to a buck and a half. So they're down to $150. So they're under the $151. So let's see, 51 to 56, uh, we're looking at five and a half dollars. We don't need a fibbit there. All right, so we're going to look at a bear call spread above 151, aggressive. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great rest of your day. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you just want to trade away. Take care, and I will see you tomorrow at our next update. Bye for now.